quite a bit. Also, be prepared to show love that is full of grace, even when grace isn't deserved, and give mercy to your spouse often. The best way that I've found to explain these two are grace equals getting what you don't deserve, and mercy equals not getting what you do deserve. So I would just encourage you guys, model grace and mercy in your marriage, because that's what Christ does with us every day. We never get what we don't do, what we deserve from Christ, and He always gives us what we don't deserve. And that's what I would ask you to do in the marriage. Secondly, we also see Christ's model of love that is sacrificial. A sacrificial love is simply giving up your love for something that you love more. The Bible tells us in our relationship to consider others better than ourselves and to put their needs ahead of our own. That's going to be a challenge in marriage. And our culture of me first, it's always me first. It's hard to focus on someone else. But that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to contradict culture and focus on someone else in your marriage. May your greatest happiness come from seeing each other's needs be met. Remember to love sacrificially. And then lastly, Christ models a love that is committed. The Bible gives us a description of the most perfect kind of love. It's a love that's totally unconditional. In a world that uses the word love loosely, and trust me, they do, I think the other night on American Idol, someone said, we love you! And they said, I love you too! used very loosely in today's culture. We love our car, we love our cat. I mean, man, I love pizza. We're really good. But what I'm asking you of is to aim for a love that's a bit deeper than loving pizza or loving your American Idol star. Oftentimes, people speak of falling in love or just falling out of love as if it's just something that they kind of tripped into or tripped over. And they just can't help their feelings. But I'm actually challenging you guys that love really is a decision. It's a committed decision that you guys are making for the rest of your life. At the end of the ceremony, legally you're going to be husband and wife, but you still must decide each and every day that God gives you that you want to be married. You have to decide that you want to be married and that you love each other. Make such a decision to love each other and keep on making this decision over and over again. Those are just a few quick things. Do you both commit to doing these things in marriage? Yes. All right. Now go ahead and face each other. Join hands. And Ryan, I want you to repeat after me. I, Ryan, take you tomorrow. I, Ryan, take you tomorrow. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. To love you today, tomorrow, and forever. To love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. Trust you and honor you. Trust you and honor you. I will be here for you. I will be here for you. I will encourage you to achieve all your goals. I will encourage you to achieve all your goals. I will grow with you in mind and spirit. I will grow with you in mind and spirit. I promise to love you faithfully. I promise to love you faithfully. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. And tomorrow we repeat the same vow to Ryan. I tomorrow take you, Ryan. I tomorrow take you, Ryan. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. To love you today, tomorrow, and forever. To love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will cherish our friendship. Trust you and honor you. Trust you and honor you. I will be here for you. I will be here for you. I will encourage you to achieve all your goals. I will encourage you to achieve all your goals. I will grow with you in mind and in spirit. I will grow with you in mind and spirit. I promise to love you faithfully. I promise to love you faithfully. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Alright, may I have the rings? This might be a little tricky.
Houston, we have a problem. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I want to 
first of all, we love you. Congratulations. Alright, 
put your hands together and please help me welcome Adrian and Jennifer. Thanks, please welcome Jolene and Darren.
Mr. and Mrs. Howes. And at this time, I will start releasing tables. You have numbers on your tables if I call your number. And at this time, I will start releasing tables. You have numbers on your tables. 19, 20, and 1, and 2. We are going to start with tables. The rest of you will be released in one and two. The rest of you will be released quickly, I promise. Guys, this is awesome. Uh, can't wait to uh, 
free drinks. Yeah. So I uh, thought I'd get, the, get, a, get a couple of drinks. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Not with me. Not with me at all. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. We love you and we hope to spend a lot more memories with you and our kids. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, thanks for the great memories today. We really enjoyed everything. Um, we really uh, are happy for you guys coming together today and uh, two families becoming one. Thank you very much. Hi, Tamar and Ryan. I wish you all the best. I know you guys are going to have a good life, fun life, okay? And be there for each other every step of the way. And hey, we'll see you around in like 50 years. Love you guys. Hey, Tamar. I've known you since you've been about yay high, and you did good. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, you guys. We hope you have the best honeymoon and a wonderful life together. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Congrats, guys. Congrats. We love you. Congratulations, Ray and Tamar. We're so excited for you guys. The wedding was beautiful, and it's, it's so wonderful to see how God's brought you two together in this what your future holds for your family. And the food's great, by the way. Thank you. Because interest rates continue to be historically low. It is a great to buy and sell. Team House Realty is here. Chicken white. I'm sorry. It just wouldn't be tomorrow's wedding without some shameless self promotion. <laughs> oh, we're streaming this live on Facebook right now. Yes. Oh, tomorrow and Ryan. How we all here love you both so much as a couple. As your friends, we want you to know how beautiful you are as a couple. And not because you're so dang good looking and photogenic. <laughs> that is important. Don't get me wrong. But what is truly beautiful is to see how seamlessly you have both taken on the roles of partners and equals and supporters of each other. The tenderness and love you display for each other. The ability to complement each other's personalities and bring out the best. <laughs> Addison has. <laughs> and bring out the best in each other is what I see as one of your strongest attributes as a couple. It is so admirable to see already what an amazing father figure Ryan is to Jordan and she and Tamara as a mother figure to Ethan and Addie. <laughs> yeah. You guys are all so busy on a daily basis. It's incredibly difficult to maintain the schedules of two working parents, a business, four kids in school and sports and other activities, and a crazy dog. <laughs> well, crazy. Yes, you both have risen to the occasion to be there for each other, to help each other, to be a family. You make it work, and you do it with such grace and love, your faith, humor, and some awesome genes thrown in. <laughs> you both are inspiring to us all as a couple, and the six of you as a family is magical. We toast you, beautiful Tamar, and handsome Ryan, and your gorgeous children, Jordan, Shane, Ethan, and Addie. We wish you all a lifetime of love and happiness as a family. Please raise your glasses. And cheers to family. Way to go. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Let me collect myself. <laughs> Good. Well, as you know, Ryan and I, we go way back. We go back.
going back to high school, which is decades. <laughs> Way ago. Well, tomorrow, I love, love you, you dearly. dearly. I haven't known you as many years ago, right? But what, but what I, can I can tell you, tell you is that you're lucky. You're, you're absolutely, absolutely the most lucky woman in the world to have you. Yeah. This is a man that I've known. I don't want to say how many years, but I don't want to say that because he's been so long. I don't want to say myself. But this is a man who's never raised his voice. I've never heard him say a crossword to someone. I've, I don't even know that I've ever seen an angry look on his face. This is a man who knows humility, who knows love, and who knows how to treat people properly. And I feel blessed to have him as a friend. And I know that you are blessed to have him as your husband. And, uh, and I just know that you guys are going to be so happy together. And he's going to treat you right. And you guys are the best marriage ever. And I love you both. Cheers. Love you guys. Welcome Ryan's father, Bill. Hi, everyone. I want to take advantage of this opportunity here, since we're all here gathered together on this beautiful day, to let you know about a new listing that Nora and I have a mountain. Villa. Three plus three, 1,344 square feet, 229.950, and by the way, I'm just kidding, we put it in escrow today. Yeah. Anyway, what can I say? It's in the blood. But I do want to say one thing. A couple of things. First of all, I cannot tell you how happy we are to have you and our family tomorrow and your two wonderful boys, Jordan and Shane. What it means to us to see a smile that you put on our son's face. And to Glenn and Debbie who have welcomed Ryan and Ethan and Addison into their family. We, we want you to know this goes both ways. We are so thrilled to have you here. And cheers.